Good morning, Year Two, and welcome to our last home learning day. So, Mrs. Lee and I aren't online today. We're making sure everything's ready in school for you on Monday. So, I've done this video just to talk you through what we would like you to do for this last day. So, at nine o'clock until nine thirty, we would usually be having our welcome. But since we're not online and we're not getting together, this might be a really good time to do your spelling test. So the words for you to be tested on today are in the files on Teams and they were sent out in last week's home learning pack to be tested on the 5th of March. So you could ask a grown up to read you those 10 words. Remember, Mrs Lee and I like to mix them up a bit, make it a bit more difficult. But you can have a go at your spelling test now. If there isn't anyone available to test you on the words, you could just have a practice of them. So next at 9.30 until 10.30, this is usually our maths lesson. And in our maths lesson um, today, we are going to be talking about 3D shapes. So remember, they are the solid ones that you can pick up. And we're going to be learning about faces. So I suggest, since this is new, that you go and watch the White Rose video. The link is in the Teams files and it's on the home learning sheet. And that will talk to you about counting the faces then you will need to complete the worksheet and you can see that there are some screenshots of what it should look like below. That's also in the Teams files and the home learning pack. So to count faces, it can be quite difficult if you're just using a picture of a 3D shape. So you might want to find some examples of the shapes that are in the pack and find some of them around your house and see if that can help you count the faces. But please do watch the White Rose video and that will explain more about how to do this work. Then at 10.30 until 10.45, it is usually break time. So please make sure you get away from your screen. Don't sit in front of a screen all day. It makes my eyes go a bit crazy. So make sure you go and have a break, have a snack. So after break from 10.45 until 11.45, this would usually be our English lesson. And for today's English lesson, we would like you to spend some time finding out a bit more about the Great Fire of London. Maybe you've got some questions about the fire that we haven't answered yet from the story or from the Magic Grandad video or from the reading that you did on Wellbeing Wednesday last week. Maybe you just want to find out more information generally about the fire. So it's up to you how to find out those facts. You can have a look online, you can have a search, or you can look in any books that you might have at home. And there are some questions in the resources that are suggestions of what you could look for. You don't have to answer those questions if you don't want to. They're just there if you're not really sure what to search for. We are going to be doing some more writing about the Great Fire of London once we are back together in school. So use this time to find out as much as you can. And you might want to write down what you find out as well during this time. So go and do some research about the fire. A grown up can help you. That's absolutely fine. Then from 11.45 until 1, it's our favourite time of the day. It is lunchtime. Enjoy your lunch. Make sure you have a screen break too. So from 1 to 1.30, this would usually be our phonics time. So in your home learning pack, there are some words about alternative pronunciations for the EA grapheme. It can be pronounced with an E. There's all kinds of different ways. This is the example of the sheet below. What you need to do is you need to read the words and sort them into groups depending on how you would say the EA grapheme. So we've learned in school already E for heat the meat. So you've got to sort them in different ways. Not all of these are said in that way. If you want to cut them out, you can cut them out. If you want to colour code them, it is entirely up to you how you sort them. Then usually at 1.30 there will be an assembly, but there isn't one today because of us all being in school sorting everything out. There is no assembly. So you can just get straight on with our jigsaw lesson. So in this week's jigsaw, we're thinking all about being relaxed and feeling calm and how that's really important, especially when we're going back to school. I imagine some of you are quite nervous about coming back. I am a little bit too. So it's really important to know how to relax and how to feel calm. Um, what would happen to us if we didn't relax? Who knows? Perhaps you can have a chat with a grown up. So in your home learning pack, there should be some photographs. One in the top corner, that is an example of one of them. There should be more than one. I can't quite remember how many, but there's a few. What you need to do is to cut them out if you want to or leave them as they are and arrange those photos 
in order from the least relaxed so everybody looks really calm really chilled all the way up to not relaxed where they're a bit kind of stressed put them in a line so it's like a scale to show how relaxed or not those people are once you've put them in order and then you'd like you to write one word underneath each picture to explain how the people in that picture are feeling see if you can put a different word for each one then once jigsaw is completed it is golden time so enjoy your last golden time at home and the only instruction that i'm going to give you is it has to be fun hmm. you've got to do something fun no boring stuff only fun is allowed at this time it might be if you're enjoying doing your tudor house that mrs lee told you about on tuesday it might be that you want to do a bit of that or it might be that you didn't finish your potato yesterday and you were really enjoying it and you might want to finish that off so you can do that or you can just go and play as long as it's fun we don't mind finally then at the end of the day from 2 45 till 3 p.m it would usually be story time so this might be a time when you want to sit and do some reading yourself or you might want to get a grown-up to read a story to you but it would be really nice to end the day to end our last day at home by enjoying a story and last but not least we just want to say thank you for joining us online every day over these last few weeks and for letting us into your homes via Teams. We are really grateful for all of the support that you've given us during this time and to your children. And we just want to say the biggest thank you and that we're really looking forward to seeing everybody on Monday. We hope you have a really good day. Please do email us anything you get up to and we will have a look and thank you.